for CSI and Life Science Examination. What is the expected cutoff for CSI and Life Science Examination? For every single year, when the exam is conducted, the result published, people always ask them, what is the expected cutoff? Sir, tell us the expected cutoff. Because our expected cutoff goes very, very close to the value because that's how we study. That's how I understand. That's my secret, how to understand. But the idea is that this expected cutoff range, you can keep something in your mind so that you're preparing. When you're preparing, you know that you're going to score beyond that cutoff in order to qualify, right? So that cutoff in your mind, as per the percentage value for life sciences as general category for GRF should be 60% in a percentage point of view. For last few NET examination, they are not di disclosing the cutoff of CSI and life science particularly in percentage value. They are disclosing it in a percentile value. So in a percentile value, the percentile should be 98.7 and I think 98.8 and beyond which was the cutoff in the last time net examination. 98.8 and beyond. So that should be in your mind. In a percentile value 98.8 percentile or beyond. Percentage value 60% or beyond for a general category JRF student. Right? So that is the maximum cutoff that you can expect for all the CSI net examination years to come. Right? And if you want more about to know about the, the cutoff of the uh, examination, the expected cutoff and the preparation type, then you can join Shomu's Biology Online Coaching. The details about the coaching is there in the description as well as in this video. Thank you.